Hey monk, I'm looking for food. Wanna come with? I have to gather wood far away because all the trees around here are gone. They were used to build cabins over there. Oh, okay. This lake is a dead zone. The only thing that lives here now is algae. With the phosphorus levels so high, my hypothesis is that the humans are responsible for this dead zone. Oh no! Well, where do I go now? I predict that this dead zone will stick around for the rest of your nine lives. So try the birds over there in that forest five miles away. Okay! Check out that bird. So tasty, so good at flying, but not at running. When those wings are injured, I'll get you. How am I supposed to eat? I need food for energy. My whole family will starve if our food keeps getting taken. Hey, look at that. A whole bucket of fancy feast on that person's back porch. My DNA has given me the trait for loving food, so I will oblige. It is definitely the result of natural selection, and this proves it. If I eat a massive amount of food now, then I can survive situations such as the one I was experiencing for three hours earlier today by living off the body fat that I built. Hey Spunky, the lake is no longer a dead zone. Those people stopped making the lake become full of phosphorus. Due to nature, the lake is back to normal. That's cool, crazy, but according to CNN, or Cat News Now, hundreds of thousands of our food sources died because of this incident. I'm going to have to file a report. Hey, Spunky, we're back. All the populations are reforming now, and this means that lower trophic levels are back to give us more energy. I hate eating scraps when we have whole feasts around us. Look at it. Oh yeah, and I've been practicing just for this situation. I'm going to visit the lake right now. Maybe some fish will be around.